Hello, welcome to Broken Mind and Growing Confidence, the podcast with funding from the National Lottery and the government. I'm Claire from Positive Life Workshops. I am a guide and a healer. I help people who have struggled with anxiety and depression who want to start living that more positive life. Welcome to the Broken Mind and Growing Confidence podcast. This is our session that we're having every Thursday and it is going to be eight weeks. It's called Staying Connected and the eight weeks are going to be run around my mood booster work group. You do not need to have the workbook to join in the sessions. A pen and paper is fine. It's about staying connected, having some well-being, enjoying time, actually taking time out for yourself because it's quite important that we take that time out for ourselves, especially if we're in a busy family situation. I know some of us are on our own and that's good, that time out for yourself for the self-care, but when we're in a busy family situation and we're women in there and, oh, I want to go and do that session just to take some time out and to do that relaxation and just to like listen to somebody and to have a bit of support and to be to have that connection. It's important that you do do these things, even if you feel guilty about it, because if you're looking after a big family and keeping everything going, you need to look after yourself as well. And it's the more you look after yourself, and the more time you actually take doing self-care and doing these things that make you feel good the actual more you can give to your family and it sounds quite weird if you so if you stop and take time out for yourself you can then give more to your family it sounds quite conflicting but it's not because it's things like when I went and had my hair dyed multicolored it just kind of boosted my confidence in so many different ways and I just was like oh I can do this I can do that I can do this and it was just because I'd taken that time out to do something for myself and something that I wanted to do. So that's my example of that one with the self-care. This week in the Mood Booster Workbook, the first session, the first part is talking about listening to songs that make us feel happy. So this session is going to be about music and songs and kind of using that as a tool to boost our mood and to boost our well-being, to boost our happiness. So we all like music. I don't think I've ever come across that somebody who doesn't like music. There's always something that you can go to that will make you feel happy with music, whether it's the memory of the song or the music, whether it's just the way the music makes you feel, whether it's the words in the music, and it's about choosing a toolkit of music to use and to go to. So when you start feeling rubbish, your mood starts dipping, think, okay, well, what song makes me happy? What song makes me... So mine, my go-to, which I've always said, is Sweet Home Alabama. When someone puts Sweet Home Alabama on, if I'm feeling rubbish, I'll kind of be and it kind of just starts to slowly build my mood up and then I'll want to start dancing and I think quite a lot of us have a different song like that I mean I've got more than one song and I think that's another thing that's quite important to have more than one song so in here we kind of it it just gives us somewhere to write down so we can kind of keep a record of Okay, so Sweet Home Alabama is my first one. So that's the first one that I'd write down would be Sweet Home Alabama. So there's always one in our head that we kind of know will uplift us and give us that kick. But then there's always that situation where it doesn't work because you're not in the mood for it. Because no, Sweet Home Alabama is just not going to cut it. And it's about finding something else that will work. So what's I'm going to get my um, Amazon Music up and because I'm a bit hopeless with names of songs and things like that. But I do have a playlist. So I like to listen to Dance Monkey. So if Sweet Home Alabama doesn't cut it for me, I'll try Dance Monkey. And that generally gets me up and moving and dancing around. And it's about giving yourself that choice. So if the first one doesn't work, what else could, what else, what other song could you use? If you've got a song that has a good memory, uh, a song that kind of might 
bring back memories of either some a lovely experience, and I've got a a list of songs in front of me here of different things. So, two songs that I like to listen to, and some music that I like, or I can choose a song that I know is going to make me feel happy. I can put my playlist on, but then I have to be careful that there's not a song in there that's quite a low mood song and it's about taking that choice because that choice is yours you can continue to listen to that song that's upsetting you and making you feel worse and making you feel sad and upset and you can kind of use that as a tool to grow the negative and the not nice things or you can stop that song and put something on that you know is going to uplift you and, and like just really boost you. So there's some more songs that I use. So High Hopes from Panic at the Disco is one that I use when I'm kind of wanting to feel a bit motivated and feel like passion for something. And it talks about things being complicated, but having high hopes and keeping going. And, and it's about the words. So it's not normally a song that I would normally listen to. But those words connect with me. And sometimes it isn't necessarily a song that you would listen to. So I also have in my playlist, Bob Marley, Is This Love? Now, if someone was listening, looking at my playlist and they saw that, they might think, oh, well, she listens to that. She might think, hey, she loves me something other. But no, it's not. That song is my self-love song to me. So if I'm feeling really rubbish... And I kind of need to kind of feel love and because I know that feeling that love makes me feel better, I'll put that song on because that makes me feel loved and it makes me feel loved by myself. And that's very important. And we can use songs and music as tools to to kind of fill our energy and uplift us. And there's always that choice. The sad songs and the sad music have a time and a place. And yeah, if we need to release and we need to let go and that's what we need, fair enough. But if you want a boost, don't put a sad song on. If you're feeling awful and you're feeling sad and you're feeling low and you're feeling stressed out and you put something on that's going to make you feel worse and bring back bad memories, it, it's just kind of like, you're just feeding it, you're just feeding yourself and feeding that like negativity and it's about taking the choice of what you can do and what you what what you can kind of I like to listen to um Sean Mendes and Camila Cabello, Senorita. I love it when you call me Senorita because I feel like dancing when I listen to it and it's just like moving around and the moving around with the music, so singing makes you feel fantastic. It doesn't matter if anybody's listening. It just does. If you sing at the top of your voice and you're not and, and and there isn't anybody listening and you're not bothered, it makes you feel good. And so does dancing. So it's about using that as a tool. So when we're feeling that not great and that why not put the music on and turn it up and have a dance around. If I'm feeling rubbish in the morning sometimes I'll I'll put Jeremy's favourite song on. Because I know I'll we'll, know we'll get up and dance with me. And I know that'll lift my mood and that'll lift his mood. And then everybody else will be like, what are you doing? And then they'll like, and it just kind of lifts the mood. And it's all about the music. And I can even take this back to an example of from where I worked in the NHS. So I worked in the NHS for 19 years. Yeah, so I worked on a dementia ward for nine of those years. And... Those nine years, I used music as a tool so, so much because when they were sat there after breakfast, the telly might be on and there's things going on and there's nurses reaching around and there's stuff going on and they'd all just be sat there. And then I'd come in and I'd walk over to the little iPad screen thing and I'd put the music on and I'd start dancing around and singing and you'd literally see the face is lift up light up, the faces would just light up and the legs would start moving around and the feet would start tapping and these were people who were on a dementia ward so they had later stages dementia so a lot of the time they couldn't communicate in any other way and they might oft, quite often will be sat there head down 
and like kind of not noticing what's going on. But then as soon as you put that music on, it's like, oh, peaks and memories. Sometimes we'd even start singing and dancing when normally all they would do day in, day out would be kind of just sat there waiting and not knowing what was going on around them. But that little bit of music, that uplifting, and that, it, like I said, it's choosing it because sometimes you can put that wrong song on and it can bring the mood right back down. It can really upset somebody. And it's about that choice of the music and it's about building yourself a new boosting playlist and taking so we've all got like we've got playlists here though and everywhere so i'm not sure what you've all got i think i i use youtube quite a lot and i think i use um i have amazon music now and i have different playlists where i have one for car driving one for when i'm doing reiki and meditation and then i've got one for when i'm angry and then I've got one for when I'm happy. <laughs> and then I've got one for when I'm sad. And the sad so the sad one is actually the most uplifting one. So it's I don't kind of feed into that sadness. And um, yeah, I know I understand sometimes that we need to release, we need to let go in there's certain situations where you have to kind of have the upsetness and the tears um sometimes we need the music and the music for the tool can be used as a tool for that but it's the uplifting stuff that kind of really really makes a difference and that's why i was saying in the pen and paper or use the the mood boosters notebook to document it so literally listen to a song that makes you feel happy write a list of songs to choose from so if you're not quite feeling a song one day, you can try different ones, see how it goes, always choose uplifting songs. And kind of, when you've listened to your song, so kind of make your toolkit. When you've listened to your uplifting song, when you've got your first song, do a bit of journaling, how did you feel after you listened to that song? And then, as I said before, if you just choose one, you might not be in the mood for that song. So I might not be in a sweet home album in the mood. That just might not be cutting it when I want uplifting. That might not make my feet want to get up and move and dance and kind of boost my mood. So it might, I might go to the dance monkey. Or that might not even cut it. I might really need something that's kind of like, ooh, like, so what else have I got on my list here? I've got Just Jack, Stars in Your Eyes. Why have you only got to Stars in Your Eyes? So they're all kind of like uplift, and this is not kind of music I would listen to. I kind of was listening to things like, um, oh, like heavy metal and David Bowie and Nirvana. I was madly in love with Kurt Cobain as a teenager, and they're all so depressing songs. So it's kind of if I choose to put those on and listen to that. Yes, it brings it gives me memories, but if I'm in a really low mood and I choose to put that on, it's only going to bring me down lower, unless it's a specific song with really good memories attached to it. So it's about using that tool and creating the toolkit. So journal on each song. Give yourself a toolkit and tell yourself. So when you journal on each song, you then have got a reason why that song makes you feel better. So Sweet Home Alabama. Right, okay. It, it, it made me want to dance, made me want to move around. Um, I did dance and I did move around and I felt so much better because I'd done something and I wasn't just sat there doing nothing, feeling, oh, oh, oh. And it's about that. Write it down. Why choose that song? Why? What has it done for you? What, what difference has it made to you? Because we can have a list of music and a list of songs, but Anyone can write a list of music and a list of songs. This is about creating a toolkit to boost your mood. If you literally written down that that song did that and it did help me and it did change my mood, and then you're taking the choice not to kind of use that as a tool, then that's your choice. But that toolkit's there for you to choose, and then you've got more than one. So. It's, it's a little bit of work, so this is your own work for this week, people. We're coming back next week. Is even if it's just one or two, just or even if it's just this is the song that makes me feel happy. This is the song that I'm going to avoid when I'm not feeling too great. It's just about kind of having to think about it and like having to think about the music and how it makes you feel and 
and using it is good use. Right, it has been fantastic. I'm going to stop recording for the podcast now so we can have a little bit of a chat on the Get Staying Connected session. So if anyone wants to join us next, next week, I'll leave the link and all the details below. Please subscribe, rate and review the podcast because it helps boost our listens. And the more people that listen to things like this, the more people we can help. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for listening to Broken Mind and Growing Confidence. Find us on Facebook at Positive Life Workshops. Come and join our Facebook group, Broken Mind and Growing Confidence, or the Ladies Wellbeing Group. Our anxiety course will be live soon. If you're looking to improve your confidence, if you're interested in any healing, card readings, having problems with anxiety, or your own confidence, feel free to give me a message. Thanks for listening. We'll be here again next Thursday. Goodbye.